Hello everyone, my name is Matt Scorpion, and welcome to the Ultimate Medic Warlock build in Destiny 2. Now, for those who have not been exactly paying attention to new exotics and Charger Light slash Warmind Cell mods, this might be new to you, but for other people who have been running these, these are just a bit of perk setups that makes it ultimately good at both healing your allies and both staying alive. I'm not exactly how well this will patch um, to Grandmaster just because it's not available yet, it's not very testable, but a lot of these perks are something for in-game material that have already proven good, and it's just combining with others. Now, going into the loadout, we have, for an exotic slot, Lumina, the special anti-thorn, which a lot of people know, but I'll get to the details about that. We can also have either Ikelos or Seraph weapons in the background for the Warmind Cell build. And going between, ignoring the various res reserves and finders and all that, we have Protective Light, a Void Affinity, Fireteam Medic, a Solar Affinity, Global Reach, a Universal Mod, and Radiant Light, as well as Kindling the Flame. Honestly, Radiant Light isn't something that's very required, but it's always good to run. Now, going from top to bottom starting, the Exotic Lumina. This is accessible, I believe, through the archives if you do not have it or you did not earn it before. But basically, the perk. If you have Thorn, it's the Anti-Thorn, where when you kill it, something it leaves behind remnants and absorbing remnants converts a next hip fire shot into an ally seeking noble around and partially refills the magazine now what do noble rounds do when you fire them it heals them and grants allies or it heals allies that it hits and grants both you and the ally bonus weapon damage for a short duration this is actually mighty mighty beneficial it's just not a lot of people like using this because it's not the greatest gun it performs very similar to thorn but at the same way, it's just not great, exactly. But for PvE, this can definitely shine. Now, the reason I recommend either Ikelos or Seraph weaponry is because they can spawn Warmind Cells. Now, well, with Lumina, you cannot. With these two, you can. There are both shotguns. There are various... Uh, well, there is a shotgun that can run if you do not wish to have two primaries as well. Let me hang on. Actually, no, there are two shotguns, and that's it. And as well, we do have heavy in the form of the Seraph saw but nothing else in for the heavy slot. Now, protective light. What this does is when you are charged with light and uh, your shield breaks, for those that don't know when the shield breaks here, let me just see if, oh wait, I don't have a health bar, so that won't matter because of the head's disabled. But when you get to one third of the health bar, your shield breaks and you see you get an audible display and your health bar turns red. That is when your shield breaks. That is when protective light kicks in and you get a very hefty damage resistance buff that lasts depending on how many stacks of charge with light you do have at one time which base is two which gives you i'd say eight ten seconds of defense which is actually a lot longer than you think in end game content this can save your life more times than you would believe if you're on top of it if you do not have it you likely would have died before you can make it back to cover but if you did you survived now going forward fire team medic this one is very handy war mind cell build mod basically when you destroy a war mind cell it creates a burst of healing for you and allies near you the burst of healing is at least half of your health half of your shields at the same time this is definitely something that when you combine with ikelos and seven seraph you'll be turning them out often now in addition if you want instead of global reach which is mainly for the damage build and also i don't think this benefits the healing distance but this is more so for damage if you want to run the solar mod the i believe wrath of the war mine that makes it so solar splash damage goes for it and you want to swap out for maybe uh, a solar uh secondary grenade launcher or a solar heavy grenade launcher or something that has splash you can totally go for it that is totally an option you can do but i prefer in terms of everything you know, I just realized I'm missing a mod, aren't I? I am. You know what? So I might actually have to exchange out Radiant Light with this. But then moving forward, uh, Radiant Light, this is an option. Um, basically, when you cast your super, it causes nearby allies to be charged with light with plus 20. That's beneficial, but now looking at this, I have to exchange it. At least for something that allows me to become charged with light to make benefit of protective light. Now, there are a variety of options. If you want to, to make this entirely Warmind Cell focused, there is a Warmind Cell mod that you can become charged with light by collecting Warmind Cells for the arc. I do believe there's one for breaking them as well 
for solar, I'm not entirely sure, but I prefer taking charge just because in endgame content like Grandmasters, when you're constantly using your super, you would often see orbs on the ground from your allies, so taking charge definitely helps. Now, for the last one, this is kind of an exchange out. Kindling the flame. This one is a little bit uh, variable if you want options. Now, basically, with when you have charge of light, can reviving you, reviving your dog, that yeah. you will consume one stack of charge of light when you revive a down guardian and gain bursts of healing. That's to help keep people alive. But there is another two perks that you can go that would make it beneficial for both protective light and kindling the flame, depending on whether or not you want to stack them. And that is both charged up and supercharged. Basically, charged up gives you an extra stack of light for max charge, allowing three stacks, and supercharge gives you two, allowing for four if you just have one of these, a maximum of five stacks. Now, combine all this together, logically it would be assumed because I've been using in tandem with the new boots. Basically, this is Lumina, the exotic boots, standing in a healing rift creates noble seekers that seek out allies in a rift and heal them. For healing rift and for empowering rift it causes damage bonus for you and an ally now each time a noble seeker finds one of your allies the duration of rifts is briefly extended now that can go well with a combination of various subclasses now personally i've been running this with the attunement of elements the arc soul class and things like override and things where there's many many allies to work with now you could go attunement elements but considering it is just a general medic class attunement of grace considering how medic focused it is with an overcharged overshield grenade as well as constant hit rifts now i should mention as well benevolent dawn the perk with this that makes it so that um when you heal anyone it generates basically class ability energy it gives you melee it gives you grenade it gives you rift energy bonus uh or bonus ability recharge combine that with in tandem of boots the assembler where it extends your rift as well as the noble rounds that I seek out for both Lumina and these boots count for Benevolent Dawn. They trigger it, which gives you about six seconds of enhanced ability recharge, which is very noticeable. You can combine all this together to create a build that is just entirely focused on you staying alive and healing your allies to make sure they stay in the fight. Now, I... Not sure, like I said, I haven't been able to test this in Grandmaster content just because that is not out for at least almost another month. But I can guarantee that if you follow this setup and give yourself protective light, fire team medic, and negotiable global reach, and as well as neg negotiable radiant light. Like a lot of these mods are negotiable. But if you make sure you at least have fire team medic and protective light, as well as others to both get charged and maybe benefit that charge, combine these new exotic boots for the warlock, combine Lumina and at least one or two Ikelos weapons. It will be a healing build unlike any we've seen yet in Destiny 2. And with that, my name is Matt Scorpion, and I will see you in the next video.